The concept we're gonna learn today will be vital to make nice dashboards. And it involves a combo box, it involves VBA, and a little bit of creativity. So let me show you first what I mean. Here we have a menu and a chart. If I select, for example, egg, I'm gonna get some numbers in the chart. If I select potato, the chart will automatically update. And the best part of this is that everything is dynamic. So for example, if I go here and add a third option for my menu, I can go back and I will see this option here so I can select it and see the graph reflecting this data. So how to do this? Let me first explain to you what we have in our backup sheets and then we will go to VBA. So first of all, here, as you have seen, I have the options that will go into my menu. Here, I'm gonna have my backup data. So I have the item, I have the months, and I have the sale for the particular months and particular item. If I go back, I have here a chart. If I click on it, you can see that the data is coming from this table. So it's a very simple chart. I just formatted it a little bit and I have data from here. Now, if you look at how to get the data for the different months, I have a sum if formula. I'm gonna do this quickly with you again, and I'm gonna put a link in the description if you want to understand some ifs in more details. So let's just remove this. So we have potato coming here, and let's do our sum if. So here, I want the sales for potato in January. So I'm gonna do equal sum ifs with s. Where is my sum range? I'll go to my data, it's my sales, comma. What is my criteria range one? So first I want to see whether the item is potato. So I'm just gonna select column A, comma. What is my criteria? So if I go back here, I want to sum anything that says potato. So I'm gonna select this, then I'm gonna do F4 to get the dollar sign because we're gonna drag the formula down. Then I do comma. My second criteria is the months. So I'll go here, the range is the months column, then comma, the month should be equal, in this case, January. So I'm gonna close the parenthesis and do enter. Here, if you see, I got 18. We go back to our data, this is 18. I'm gonna drag this and we're gonna select something else, for example, egg, potato, and tomato. So based on what we have here, I'm getting the data and obviously the chart is connected to this data, so the chart is automatically updating. Let's go to the part of having a combo box. So you can go to the developer tab. If you don't have it, just right click and do customize ribbon and tick this checkbox for developer. Now here in developer, I'm just gonna delete this. So I went into design mode, selected it and deleted it. And I'm gonna insert a new combo box. So I click on insert active X controls and here I have combo box. So I go here and I will put this. I can just move it, adjust it. So the key is, number one, I need to fill this menu. So if you click here, I have nothing, if you see in the menu. Number two, whenever I select something in the menu, I need the value to come here, so this data will refresh, and then the chart will refresh automatically. So let's start with the first piece, where we need to fill the data in this menu, or in this combo box. So we go to VBA. To go to VBA, you can do Alt F11. So you get this window. So I have a module. If you don't have it, right click here and do insert module. Here I have a sub. I'm just gonna delete it and we're gonna do it again. So let's delete what we have inside. So first of all, let's learn the code to put one item in this dropdown. So we're gonna do with here we need to call the combo box so how do i call this combo box if you go back here you click on design mode you click on it right click properties 
this is the name of the combo box I'm gonna change it to CB1 to make it easier for us and close it and go back here and I'm gonna say with sheet 1 because this is sheet 1 the DB dot CB1 so now the name of my combo box appears here I'm gonna do and with and inside if I do dot you have this thing called add item and let's just hard code something let's call it banana so if we run this code and you go here you can see that I have banana now the problem I have here is that if I run it again I'm gonna have banana two times so to reset your drop down menu you just need to do sheet1.cb1.clear so this is the property if we try it now I have only one banana why because I've resetted the menu I deleted everything and I added banana now the challenge is how can I go through this list of items and add them one by one well you can use a while loop if you're not very familiar with while loop again I'm gonna put a link to a lesson that explains while loop in more details so first of all what we're gonna do is dim i as integer this is an index and we're gonna say i is equal to 2 why 2 because we want to start at row 2 and here we're gonna do while sheet 2 because menu options is sheet 2 dot range a and i dot value is not blank and here we do while and and here i is equal i plus 1 let's just ident this with the tab so what I'm saying is that while a and my index i which starts at 2 is not blank just do something and add 1 to i so it becomes 3 then I go to a3 then a4 once I reach a5 it's blank so I'm gonna stop and what I want to do here inside is add this specific item so instead of banana I need to take the item that is here the item that is here is actually sheet2.range a and i so I can copy this remove the banana and then if I play you can see that the menu now have all the items let's try to remove tomato just to test it one more time and you can see that it works so the challenge that I have is I want to make this run automatically so I don't want to come here and then have to press to fill this menu so to do this if we see our DB it's sheet 1 I'm gonna double click here on sheet 1 I'm gonna delete those and show you what we do first of all we're gonna use the event so if I use a worksheet event I click on it selection change is the default one but I can use activate so let's remove this and that means every time I activate my sheet DB what do I want to do well every time I activate DB I want to run this and fill my menu so I'm gonna do call then I go here I just copy paste this I come back and I do this so now what happens is the following if I go to another sheet like this one then I come back to db this is where my worksheet underscore activate will start working and here what it will do it will call the function that I have in my module so let's remove the breakpoints and let's run it and then you can see that I get this updated so even if I don't update this whenever I come back here the menu will get updated the next thing we need to do is every time I select something here it needs to be reflected in this right and then based on this we have our sum ifs so to do this we have cb1 and we can just have this one cb1.change or we can go into design mode here double click and then this will open automatically I'm just gonna do sheet 1.range b6 dot value is equal to sheet 1 dot cb1 dot value so I'm taking the value from this so if we click we have egg 
if we click on potato we have potato and everything is updating now I have a few problems the first one is the following if I go here and then come back I lose my selection so you can have it like this or you can just do an if statement here and say if CB if sheet one dot cb1 dot value is different than nothing then you do then and here and if so only if the value is not nothing you will change so now i have egg i go here come back i still have egg in my selection although the menu now is blank so this is one enhancement we could do the other enhancement we could do is the following this will only work when you go to another sheet and then come back the problem you will face is the following in case you close your excel sheet and you had db activated and then you open it again let's say after three days the problem you will face is that this worksheet activate will not run you will have to go to another sheet and then come back to db to have your menu filled so to circumvent this, you can go to this workbook and add a workbook event. So this is workbook.open. So every time the workbook opens, you can just call the same function. So we just go and pick it up and we go to here and we just paste it. So this is the concept. Please let me know in the comment section what you think about this and whether you can apply it for your dashboards to make them more interactive with the user.